There is a troubling tradition in the United States that occurs when pro-people of color protests take place in the United States. It happened during the Civil Rights Movement where African Americans were marching to get equal rights along with everyone else. Dogs, water hoses, and police batons were turned upon those marching for the full enfranchisement of African Americans in the United States. It happened after George Floyd's death with the Black Lives Matter marches protesting the brutality against minorities in the streets by errant police departments and officers. And it's happening now with the pro-Palestinian protests that basically are protesting against mass loss of life in the Gaza Strip. Well over 30,000, who knows, it could be 40,000 deaths by now of civilians being bombarded on the ground and from the air. Universities are cracking down on their students. Arrests are taking place. Now, the question becomes, is being pro a group of people automatically anti another group of people? Pro-Palestinian doesn't automatically mean anti-Semitic. It may be anti-Israel because Israel is a nation that is doing the attacking. Yes, we know they were attacked on October 7th and 1,200 people were killed, but the retaliation has been just massive against civilians that weren't involved in the attack. So the United States needs to examine its soul when it comes to pro-people of color protests. Just because we have an official position or a law in some cases like during the civil rights movement doesn't mean it's right. 